Tom Racine, Tall Tale Radio, Kenosha, Wisconsin. Something I've never, ever said before. But I'm here with Rick Stramoski, who does soup to nuts in the papers, is also the former president of the National Cartoonist Society and current leader of the National Cartoonist Society Foundation, which was nice enough to set up this whole event here in Kenosha. It's an art auction. Where Where is all the money going to? Uh, the money from the sales of the original art will go to benefit the Wisconsin Children's Hospital Kenosha Clinic. All right, so specifically right here in Kenosha, right which in, is great. Right here in Kenosha, as well as another organization, which is uh, called uh, Margaret Ann's Place, which is a, um, it's a, it's a place that helps bereaved children, people who have lost friends and family members, and it, and it just counsels them and gets them through the bereavement process. So. It doesn't get much more important than that, to be honest with you. I think that's great. So is this the kind of stuff the foundation does? Yes, we do a lot of um, charitable work. Um, we donate uh, art and funds and grants to museums. We also uh, provide scholarships to art students that are, that are uh, working in animation or any type of cartooning. Uh, and we support um, any kind of cause that involves cartoonists. And we also, we also uh, help indigent cartoonists that are in troubled times. Not only are you the leader of this, but you have a piece in here, too, a lovely watercolor piece. Actually, too. I have an original Soup to Nuts and uh, an illustration I did for a uh, Bad Cats books that I did uh, a number of years ago. So. All right, so get greedy for a second. If you could have any one of these, if you could take your money and get which one. There's Doonesbury's, there's Brenda Starr, there's Sundays from Everybody, Leo's, everything. What would you take? I, I probably would purchase the Brenda Starr because it was an, it's done by Dale Messick, and it's, a, it's, a, it's an enormous piece. It is. And it's... It's, it's a little bit underpriced, um, but we do want it to sell, but um, I, I would love to have that piece, but I'm going to wait till the public uh, has their <laughs> shot at it first. So, But it's an absolutely wonderful piece of uh, comic art, and, and it's so big. I mean, it's, it's, it it's enormous. So, yeah. but it's you big. ever get jealous of those guys, the ability, that sh the size they had to work with? Oh, it's just, it's just a, I, I work pretty large, but that's, this is about twice as big as how, how I, that, what I would do. And they have all that space to do all that detail. It's just, just um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a different time. It's very well attended. People love this kind of stuff. Why do you think people like seeing the original art? I think they feel connected to it. Uh, if they see something that they read in the paper every day, but to actually see how, how the, what scale that the cartoonists work at, and they actually see the process and hear them speak is something really special. And, and people, they feel more connected to the, to the cartoonists and to the art as well. I'm here with Dave Coverley of Speed Bump, easily one of my favorite single panels of all time. So Dave, it was wonderful to meet you here. Had a great time hanging out. How have you, what's your experience been like here? This has been absolutely fantastic. Uh, we've just been treated so special, uh, you know. And it's just a, it's just an honor. It's a thrill to be here because, in fact, Hillary and I were just talking today about this. It's kind of it's, it's a weird job that we have. We just sit around on our, by ourselves on our own, you know, just doing our thing. Uh, and so it's nice to get out and meet adults. But then it's really weird to be someplace where people come to see you. Yeah. You know, you did, it's it's not what you expect when you do this job. Yeah. This job is just sort of about entertaining yourself and hoping somebody else likes it. So to be out here, uh, and then to do it for a good cause. I mean, it's like the perfect weekend. It was. It was great. I mean, uh, did you have a lot of fun? Uh, my, one of my favorite parts was we did this um, uh, uh, thing at the high school, mm -hmm. and it sort of became a little bit of a rock concert. It was, it was, it was great. I felt like I was uh, not emceeing anymore. I was more like, I hope nothing burns down at this point. But you were you're surrounded by people giving like a little class or something. You were drawn constantly on the thing. What was yeah. that like for you? Well, it was funny watching you trying to be a border collie. Uh, that was yeah, funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. You weren't hurting sheep. You were hurting squirrels. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, it was, it was tremendous because... Part of it was just the fact that it was the energy. Yeah. So you got a bunch of high schoolers and they're art students and they seem to really uh, be into it. Yeah. And you know, you could tell that they, were, they weren't the kids that were just forced to be there, they were having a good time. Um, and then pandemonium ensued. <laughs> and so it, the, the best part was that I was on the stage uh, and towards the back of the stage and then I just, some, a girl asked me to do a drawing so I got down on my knees and, on this big tablet drawing right. and then somebody else asked me, I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> and so you're drawing, you don't really know what's going on. I look up and I'm like five rows deep in a half circle of 15 year old girls which, which would have been the best thing ever like 35 years ago say, you were 15 wow yeah. <laughs> that never ever would have happened then <laughs> yeah, I, I tried that i was drawn not surrounded by little girls it was a kind yeah, of a drag i always wanted groupies but not yeah. not 15 year olds uh, but it was it was amazing and they were they were into it and they all had suggestions and they all wanted animals and yeah. um and it just it was it was work it was exhausting at the end 
but in the middle of it, it was just absolutely fantastic. I was pleased because I kind of thought we were going to get a bunch of jaded teenagers, but like you said, these were art students, and there were like 600 of them, and at least half of them rushed the stage. I mean, some of them yeah. sat in the back, but the majority of them came forward and were uh, hoarding on passes, and all of you guys were signing everything. It was really yeah. cool. I think I think they were just having fun. Yeah, was, you know, I mean, I don't think they were trying to cause pandemonium. I would I would have loved that kind of a thing in high school. I mean, you can. Oh, yeah, that never that never happened to me. <laughs> So is it really good for you to meet the fans? I mean, it's just a really important thing? Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's two-pronged. I mean, it's fun to meet fans. Uh, it's, it's great to hear that you've, you've written something, and it's out there, and that person has read it and knows about it. And you think, oh, great, because sometimes you draw these, and it feels like you're throwing them into a black hole. You know, and then with the deadlines, it's just like every week you draw them, send them out, draw them again. It's like a, like a factory. Um, but the other part of it is uh, these kind of things. There are plenty of people that don't know the work. You know, it depends on which paper you're in, et cetera. So it's been great just meeting people and then, then getting a chance to show them the work and getting feedback from new people. You know, uh, they're already cartoon fans, otherwise they wouldn't be here. Uh, so it's the perfect audience, you know, for both ways. This is Greg Cravens, who does the buckets and the webcomic Hubris. Hubris. Hubriscomics.com. Go there. It's also on Go Comics. Right? It's, it's on Go Comics. Go Comics is your favorite place for seeing your daily comic strips. That's right. Thank you. This was brought to you by Go Comics. I'm not even on there yet. I'm not. I'm pimping for them Soon. already. Yeah. Soon. So here we are, Kenosha. Let's talk about the experience. What's it been like for you overall? It's been a lot of fun. Uh, it's it's fun to be in a place uh, where I'm not cramped in a room drawing cartoons all day, and everybody's running up and saying, "Could you sign this? Or is it a check? Then I'll sign. If it's not, I'll sign. I, if, as long as you know. Yeah. It's yeah. But yeah, it's it's fantastic. Uh, everybody's being wonderful to us, and they keep you all saying, "Oh, thanks for coming to our little town." I'm going. This is the nicest little town I've ever seen. <laughs> It is. It's really sweet. Right on Lake Michigan. It's gorgeous. The weather's been perfect. It's really been a very nice thing. What's been? Uh, give me a highlight of your week. What is it? Was it? You did your own panel. We went to the high school. What was your? Uh, what was your highlight? <laughs> the highlight of the week was starting a riot at the high school. <laughs> this he did. We, we, this man. <laughs> we we did the uh, Robert Downey Jr. Uh, inside the riot at the Stark Expo at the high school. Much, yeah. yeah, it just it got silly. Uh, we waved and screamed and threw stickers at people. And uh, the janitors hate us. <laughs> Between you and Passus, Passus is saying things like, well, uh, what I learned was to not stay in school and to doodle and not listen to your teachers. And then you were throwing stickers, and it was great. Man. Yeah, and uh, Stefan is getting in trouble with the, with the, with the establishment, which, <laughs> when is he not? Yeah, that's right. And I'm encouraging the sort of things that I put in the comic strip. So if I hear nasty stories, I go, I'm writing that straight in. The it, it all comes off the taxes. You were just doing research. You are looking for high school kids to give you stuff, weren't you? That's right. And they did. There, I, you know, I've, I've got a better relationship with high school kids now than I've had in a long time, uh, 30 years. So yeah, now it's time to, to go in. You'll see yourselves on the, in the comic strip, guys. You know, right? Watch it as you're going to be in there. Trust me. So as a festival in general, why is this important? Why is it important for the cartoonists to get together, have these panels to talk about the art and to meet the fans? Why is it important? Because uh, the comic strips are, are taken for granted. Everybody's used to seeing them. Everybody's used to them being there every day and uh, occasionally be reminded that there are voices and faces behind it and there's entertainers whom you enjoy. You know, you, you love their work and you don't know their faces. Um, you, don't, you don't know who they are and why they are, what they are, and you, you see their work every day and you go, hey, this is great. I want more of this. And then they show up and you get to bid on, on artwork to hang on in the walls. Part, this part is, I mean, it's an amazing art, uh, um, just fundraiser. I mean, they're going to make a lot of money tonight. I already see people, several of them have already hit the maximum, and, you know, it's been great. So and I, watched, I watched a Dave Coverly cartoon just be snatched off the table by somebody who said, I'm going max bid right now, I'm taking it. And, you know, find, find Mr. Coverly, can he autograph it for me? And, you know, it's like, send somebody for Dave right now. Money aside, which one of these pieces would you slip into your jacket right now and just run away with? Honestly, uh, this is a this is gonna sound like a goony answer. There's a 1956 Brenda Star. <laughs> That's what Stramowski said. <laughs> I, I would I would run off it. I've got a 1956 Blondie, oh, wow. and I've got an old Dondi uh, Sunday cartoon wow. by Irwin Hazen, and it would it would go on the wall really well right there. Yeah, I would run off of that one because it's gigantic and it's old and it's really cool and there's brush lines and it's gorgeous. Time we're seeing Kenosha Festival with Stefan Passes. Welcome, Hello. sir. I can barely hear you. <laughs> uh, welcome. Thank you very well, much. I just said welcome. That's all I've said so far. Yeah. So. Okay, go ahead. I'll so how's your festival been? Give me uh, what are the highlights for you uh, so far? Everything, everything has been great, but I had a moderator on the panels who didn't know shit. 
and he really he, I was told it was a plumbing convention yeah and it was terrible other than that it went really well <laughs> everything else was great you're a rock star man you sold out two of these things at the high school people were flocking to see you it's like it's like Indiana Jones where the girls painted love you on their eyeballs it was amazing did you have did you have fun oh okay I thought we said four later I want the money back oh no okay <laughs> he thinks it's a prop uh, was there a certain highlight for you? Uh, what was the highlight? Um, I think that high school thing was fun. It was. It was they fun. went pretty crazy. Uh, it was fun to see kids that enthusiastic. And the signing today was fun. Yeah, that was good. That was a good crowd. Well, I have to say, you've been signing like a madman. I mean, I'm, I'm really impressed. You signed for hours, literally hours. And at the high school, you just kept going and going. It's, it's really sweet, man. You did a great job. Thank you very much. And this, and this asshole, <laughs> no, I'm serious, walks up to me and goes, can you be on camera? And I said, I'm, I'm freaking eating dinner. And he's like, please, can you be on camera? What about the festival in general? Do you think it's important for cartoonists to be meeting their fans like this? Yeah, I thought it was great. I mean, it got such a good turnout. We had so many different varied crowds from colleges to, to where have I been? To high schools, College, to, high schools, panels. we had serious panels. We had not so serious panels. Yeah. I think it went really well. We covered a wide spectrum of people. That's right. And we learned a lot about the drinking habits of cartoonists. And we drank a lot. We drink a lot. And it's only Saturday night, so we can continue. We got a whole night of this. We got a whole night of this, brother. If I just, if I didn't have to do this stupid video thing, I'd be doing it right now. <laughs> they have the Django Reinhardt and shit? Of course, underneath the entire thing. I'm going to have a picture. I'm going to put a picture of Django Reinhardt right here. That'd be great. And we are here with Mr. John Hambrock of The Brilliant Mind of Edison Lee, who is the, I was going to say, better half of the... Ann and John Hambach, but you're really not. She's the better half. So Ann is really the super organizer. John is the sub organizer, but it couldn't be done without him because trust me, they've been amazing. The two of them have put on the most amazing festival. It's been, been fantastic. So Thank you. congratulations Thank on a you. successful, Thank successful you. thing. It has been a very successful, not a, not a problem. How do you feel about the whole thing? How do you feel about it? I think it went really, really well. We didn't, you know, there were no problems. There really haven't been. No, it's think been about, a Think about the whole event and Looking back, it's just everything went so smoothly as planned. And, you know, I think it's rare when you do an event this large with so many details that it just goes smoothly. We're thrilled. It's been amazing. Do you have a certain high point for you? What was one of the high points? Uh, I guess the high point was having everybody show up. <laughs> Unscathed. <laughs> Getting cartoonists together all in one room is a really a high point because that's difficult to do. Did you enjoy the high school thing? That was crazy. Yes, I was at a high school. That was... Uh, that was uh, <laughs> Pandemonium, and you know it's funny because we walked out of there and I thought, oh, the principal's never going to have us back, and they want us back. Yeah. They want us back. Next I know the kids had a great time. I would have loved that if I was in high school. That would have been like my favorite moment of high school, probably. So, so how's the auction going? I mean, it's very well attended, and uh, I'm looking at the numbers. People are really buying stuff. So, how's it going? I want to say that 90% of the stuff is already had bids. So, and a lot of it's sold already. That's amazing. You know, you never go in. You never know going in if you're going to get people to bid on this stuff but wow the 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 crowd here tonight and with deep pockets helping us raise money for this children's house the first one i walked by had uh the twenty five hundred dollar bid i'm taking it now kind of thing i know i know it's great i can't wait to see where we're at what's the one piece you would take and run away into the night with the, the patrick mcdonald mutts uh -huh. <laughs> i you know i have to find out if patrick would ever consider giving me one tell me a little bit about the uh the organization you work for Margaret Ann's Place is Wisconsin Center of Hope and Healing. We do free peer support groups for grieving children after the death of a parent, a sibling, a close friend. Um, it's a lot of tears, but also a lot of laughter. It's these kids getting together with kids their own age who have been through something similar. You know, when they're in school, it might they might be the only one in their class who's had a parent die and they feel a little alienated. So it's really great to see them come together um, and share their experiences and feel comfortable with each other. It's one of those organizations you wish didn't exist, but it's so wonderful that it does. That's amazing. That's, I have two little girls, and I couldn't even imagine. I mean, that's just, uh, it's so wonderful that, that you exist. So you're here, as you said, off camera. She said she's not a connoisseur of the comic arts, which is fine. Don't hate her. She's fine. She's a very attractive young woman helping people out. But was there a piece, anything about this that sort of struck you about the, the whole situation? I think the ones that spoke to me most were the political base. You know, those are always funny, and they always strike a good chord. Um, but I'm really excited to see the turnout tonight and the amount people are bidding and you know for the charity and it's it's really great to see the community involved. Back at the Kenosha Festival here at the Art Auction with Jim Lustig. Jim, who are you exactly? I'm an allergist with Children's Hospital and it's fun for me because I work here in Kenosha. 
Uh, the kids here are going to get great benefit from this, and it's a fantastic event. Children's Hospital is the one that's getting uh, one of the part of the uh, proceeds. Uh, it's just it's an amazing turnout. Uh, almost everything has been sold. Are you really pleased with that? It's fantastic, and it's it's doubly fantastic because of what it is. You know, cartoons are kind of like kids. Cartoons get to the heart of the issue. Kids have no funny facade. They tell it like it is. This is wonderful. This is the perfect charity for us. I love this. Are they? I heard you're, you're, you're waiting for the last five minutes so you can run around and make some bids. If there's a piece that you really want, which one is it? Uh, I really like that picture of Alfred E. Newman on that chair. <laughs> <laughs> Alfred and I go back a long way. <laughs> as far as the festival goes, what's been a highlight for you? I, really just hanging out with everybody. I mean, um, not only that, the, the presentations that all the cartoonists have done have been phenomenal. It's just great to... You know, I, 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 these are people I've sat down and I've talked to before, but, you know, when they have this kind of nice, clean, laid out way of how they got started, it's like questions I haven't thought to ask before. That I'm always finding out something new about uh, the cartoonists that who, are, who have become friends and, and uh, whose work I really admire, so that's, that's really cool. How would you enjoy the high school craziness? That was, a, that was insane, <laughs> yeah. It was, uh, it, it, it was a lot of fun. I, uh, I enjoyed their enthusiasm. Um, it, was, it was a little long to hold their attention span. They got kind of rowdy at the end. But I think we kind of invited that and sort yeah, of. Uh, yeah. Well, when I introduced you guys with ACDC's Back in Black and then Greg's up there throwing stickers, you know, we kind of invited it on ourselves. We, we have to share the blame is what happened. But no, it was a lot of fun, though. The kids were, were, were very receptive to the whole thing. All right, so in terms of the auction and all this amazing art around me, what piece would you run away with if you could? That, that's a tough question because there really is some uh, some awesome stuff. I would run away probably with the Patrick McDonald uh, piece. It's hand colored, <laughs> and, and it's just fantastic. Uh, yeah, that's that's probably the best. Uh, in my, I mean, there's a lot of good stuff here, but that's the one I would run off with. So, what's it been like for you? What's a high point for this whole festival for you? Oh wow. Okay, uh, I wasn't ready for that. Let's see. Um, <laughs> what, am, what else am I going to ask? Come on, yeah. really. What's your favorite color? Uh, well, let's start with blue. Blue, moving on from there. No, you know what? It's been fun. I, I said this on the panel today, or yesterday, or God, how many days? <laughs> it's blurring a little. Yeah. Well, I said it, which was uh, somebody asked, you know, who's who's your who are the people you really like? And I said, it's these guys. What's so cool about doing things like this is one, first of all, we represent cartooning. Finally, they're putting faces to a talent. But as a as a cartoonist. To be able to actually, um, you know, talk with Stefan and Dave and Hillary and, and everybody else uh, about, um, you know, how 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 do you do it? How you do it different than I do? I get so many tips off that. And so, as a professional, that's the the, the highlight of the weekend. There's other things as well, obviously. Yeah, well, the panels have been great, and uh, the high school thing was fun. I mean, the outreach to the fans. Everybody here is getting to mingle and just talk to the artists. I think that's a rare opportunity. It's a really really cool thing. How about here at the art, if you could run away with one of these into the night, screaming and clutching it to your chest, which one would it be? All right. Well, I bid on a couple, but uh, I don't think I get to go home with any of them. I'll be honest. Uh, it's the Doonesbury. It's, it's got me really. Uh, Looking back at it like yeah. yeah. I just love, I've always loved Gary's work, and he's been one of my mentors over the years. And He doesn't know that, by the way, so don't tell him. Yeah. What is the most important thing about meeting the fans? Well, like I said, uh, we're in a huge flux of change, um, and we need to. I, I, that's what I tried to impart on the, on all the audiences this weekend, which is, what do you want from us? Where where do you want? Yeah, you tell us what you want because we're going to start a very direct relationship with you in the next ten years, and it's changing. Not that we don't need newspapers, not that it, there won't be book companies, but there are new options to how readers can choose to be with us, share. share you know, or, or we can share with them and so forth. That didn't come out right, but you get the idea, which is there's a lot going on uh, and we're removing some of the middlemen between that and it's time to kind of listen to what they want and how that might work. What was a highlight for you of the festival? There are so many things that I liked about it and I think Anne, I think Anne worked us, but worked us well yeah. um, because, so I stretched myself. I mean, I did a class today to, with eight to, Eight to twelve-year-olds, or something like that. I did it with Dave Coverley, which made it mu which made it fun. I've done it before, but it was really fun, and it was also fun 
to talk to everybody else that has done kids classes and say, well, what do you do and what do you do? And so I feel like even though the class was challenging, I now have more material to take elsewhere to go back. And I've got like, oh, I could do. We did an hour and a half. That's generally long. But um, now I have an hour and a half worth of material that I could go home and share with my community. What of this auction, as it's wrapping up behind us, what piece would you run away with if you could? I really liked the gill. I liked, I liked gill, the gill strip. Right. And um, the one, I mean, the, the one that he did here, I really enjoyed. And his line work is beautiful. He's so, and I'm, well, I keep telling him, it's like, oh, yeah, you got like some of the best line work there is. So. Mm -hmm. And one of the neat things about um, getting to know cartoonists better is that you you come to you you learn their process and you learn. By and large, this is a pretty incredible community of people, really kind, and funny people. That's that's a good combination. And very happy to get away from their desks and out into the sunlight and the beautiful Kenosha. I know. Oh my gosh! The other thing about Kenosha that just blew me away was you will get to see fish jump. <laughs> two feet out of the water yeah. and they are two feet long. Yeah. We saw some guy walking by, uh, he had this gigantic salmon trout. Thing. Yeah, and we pulled him over, we're yeah. like, stop, stop, show us the fish. We surrounded him, take pictures, oh my God, look at the fish. Like we'd never seen a fish before in our lives, it was hilarious. Kenosha Festival of Cartooning and I saved the best for last, of course. The brains, the brawn and everything else behind the Kenosha Festival of Cartooning and Hambrock, I'm giving you a big hug because this has been pretty much the highlight of my professional voice career for sure, to be involved and to be part of this fraternity of people and actually start to feel like I belong here has been all because of you, so thank you very much. So you set up this whole thing, you did it last year, uh, you did it again this year, how do you feel overall? It's almost over here, now it's just basically a party, let's have fun, how, how do you feel? I feel great, uh, everything was a big success, everything was popular, not too many disasters, not too many fires to put out, and you uh, and Mike Cope were just a huge addition to the team, and I, I hope you don't have any bookings for the future, because nope. we'll be asking you back. It's an annual event for me, as far as I'm concerned, or biannual, however often you do it. So so here at the, the, the auction, which is, if you can see behind me, is pretty much done, uh, and was a huge success. I believe 100% of the pieces actually got picked up, which is rare and amazing. They sold everything. That's amazing. So what was your favorite piece? I keep asking everybody, if you could have like, just grabbed one and ran out the door, which one would it be? Well, the Dunesbury, yeah. yeah. But then, uh, uh, 10 others that I won't name to offend the other people. <laughs> what was your uh, highlight for you? I mean, I, the, the wonderful thing is, I'm glad you got to sit on some of the things, but you were running around like crazy, so you'd, I'm sure you didn't get to enjoy it like a lot of us did, but what was a highlight for you? I think, um, I think the high school assembly, even though it was nuts, uh, because, it, because it was nuts, it was, it was great energy. I, I, my hope was that, a generation that has forgotten about a lot of these comics will be interested in them again. You know, when you when you hear a 16-year-old kid say of Greg Cravens, that Greg guy is my hero, that's why I did it. Yeah, I, I was really happy with that. I was one of those things where if I was in high school, it would have been my favorite thing of all time. And and I think a lot of them will be. I mean, as an artist, I, I never had that growing up. And I think it's very cool that you're giving this. And that's sort of the philosophy behind this, is to meet the artist. Right? Yeah, I, I just... The cartoons still matter. They're still funny. People still like them. They've just, they're not encountering them in the random way that they used to, so it's up to us to put them in front of them again.